Scott Schiller coming to you from the Team G503 workshop in Aiken, South Carolina. And I've got something that I want to film before I even take off and leave. And I'm going on a little adventure in a couple days. And there's going to be some very, very exciting folks and some really cool people that I'm looking forward to meeting. And there's going to be some cool videos that come out of it, too. I'm not going to tell you where I'm going yet, but you probably figure out it probably has to do something with Mr. Ron Fitzpatrick and Mr. Ron Fitzpatrick Jeep Parts, and, and you would be correct. Um, I hope you keep an eye out on that web this week because we're going to do, be doing some very, very exciting things. And I, as I'm getting ready to go on this trip, I just think to myself that, you know, all those years ago when I took Grandpa's 1946 Willis CJ2A and restored it to look like an Army Jeep in his honor for his military service and for the fact that he had a garage in uh, Western New York State, I never thought in a million years that I would be doing these videos and taking apart a 43 Jeep and, and putting these films out there on YouTube or being even involved with the folks that I'm involved in. It's, it's been a really awesome, awesome experience and I, I've thoroughly enjoyed it and very passionate about it. And just to have the opportunity to do what I'm doing, it's just a godsend and I'm very, very thankful for that and humbled by that. Uh, I'm not a professional shop. Uh, I know you folks sometimes watch the videos and I do get a lot of messages all the time asking me questions. This is the first time I've ever done an actual G503 Jeep. Uh, like I say, I did the CJ2A there, and they're, they're very similar, and uh, you know, you kind of get hooked with this bug, and I don't know, I might not stop doing these things, but the premise of the Team G503 videos is not to be the best, and not to be the most meticulous, and not to be the most perfect. It's, it's basically to show that these old war horses can, you can achieve great success with simple shop tools and some simple know-how and a, just a can-do attitude. I can't say that enough. Uh, yes, if you're a professional shop, and I know there's professional builders out there, you guys are awesome, and I'm not trying to denounce that at all. Uh, what I am trying to do is there's a lot of folks out there who would love to have one of these Jeeps, and I think they get a little intimidated by it, and I think they get kind of, no, I've never done that, or I've never done this. Well, you know, five, six years ago, yes, I had a little mechanical experience, and I had been a home improvement contractor for over 20 years, but I've never took apart and rebuilt a vehicle. And uh, it, it's a little intimidating at first, but I think that what I'm trying to say here is, I really believe that anybody, if they put their mind to this, could do a Jeep with very great success, especially with all the, the helpful folks out there on the web and suppliers like Ron Fitzpatrick Jeep Parts. Now, I'm not gonna keep going on, getting a little sentimental, but uh, stay tuned to the videos and stay tuned to the Facebook in the next week or so. I think you'll like it. <laughs>